Hello, Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Mahamadi Fikri bin Rafi and, and I'm from class M7035. Today, let's learn about first year question chemistry chapter 6. Question number 1. Okay, this is the question. Let's read the question. Oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide irreversible reaction. So this is the equation that had been given to us. In one experiment at 750 degrees Celsius, an equilibrium was achieved in a closed vessel with partial pressure of SO2, O2, and SO3 are 0 0.27, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. 0 and 0 0.32 atm respectively so what the question one calculate the kp i like that and the initial partial pressure of sl2 and o2 so the question one the calculate the kp and initial partial pressure of so2 and o2 let's go for the solution firstly firstly we search for Kp. Okay, this is the, the equation given. Make sure the equation is balanced. And then we write the Kp expression. Yes, product at above and the red turn at below. Coefficient. And then we substitute all the all the value that had been given at the question. And lastly, we will get the Kp value. Okay, we had done answer the calculate the KP and now we search for initial partial pressure of SO2 and O2. Firstly, the first step to find the initial partial pressure is we form I stable. Okay, we place the initial partial pressure with X, Y and product is zero. Then, uh, we replace that with a uh, change of p negative 2 change of p negative change p and positive 2 changes of p and then this is the value that had been given to us okay the next step is since the value since the pressure of the so3 had been given 0 0.32 so we use this to find changes of p and the changes of P is 0 0.16 atm of SO3. So we can search for initial partial pressure of SO2. And the initial partial pressure of SO2 is 0 0.59 atm. And initial partial pressure of O2 is 0 0.56 atm. This is the solution. Okay. Now we go to the next question explain the effect if any of the following changes on the kp and amount of sulfur trioxide in the equilibrium mixture if neon is added at a constant pressure and a constant volume so we go to the we we must highlight uh, changes of kp and amount of sulfur trioxide these are what the question one. Okay. This is all the highlighted. This is all the highlighted the keywords that we must have in our explanation. Okay, firstly, at a constant volume, when an inert gas any NE neon added Total pressure increase. Partial pressure of each gas SO2 and O2 remains unchanged. Amount of SO amount of SO2 remains unchanged. System still at equilibrium and the equilibrium position also remain unchanged. This is because none of SO2 and O2 the reactant or SO3 product is being consumed or produced. The value of Kp only affected by change in temperature, Kp remain unchanged. When we look back at the question, the question 1, the 
changes on the KP and the amount of sulfur trial aside. So this we answer the question KP remain unchanged and amount of SO3 remain unchanged. We also had done the answer the question. Okay. At constant pressure, when an inert gas neon added, partial pressure of each gas SO2, O2 and SO3 decrease. It is because the total number of moles of gases molecule in the system is increased. Equilibrium position will shift to the left, which has more number of moles of molecules. It is because more number of moles of gases molecule will exit higher pressure and the total pressure can be increased. Thus, more reactant SO2 and O2 will be produced and more product SO2 will be consumed. So let's answer the question. Amount of SO3 will decrease. The value of Kp, the value of Kp only affected by change in temperature. So Kp remains unchanged. So that's all for the question number one, chapter six, chemistry. Thank you.